Good afternoon. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. The call for a revolutionary government is ill-timed and unnecessary. That's according to Senator Wynne Gachalian. In an interview with One News' agenda, Gachalian explained that it will not solve the issues brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. The senator added that such a government will likely erode the system of checks and balances. He also slammed its proponents for naming their group after President Duterte. Babalik ako doon sa pangalan ng grupo, Mayor Rodrigo Duterte National Executive Council. No? Uh, ang, ang initial reaction ko ay itong uh, grupo na ito ay gustong uh, uh, mapalapit sa ating Pangulo at gustong uh, uh, sumipsip sa ating, mga, sa ating Pangulo. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. The Philippine National Police orders its regional office in the Bangsamoro region to expedite the investigation into explosions that happened in Sulu earlier today. The armed forces, meanwhile, says its troops are now on the ground, evacuating and providing treatment for those affected. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque apologizes to President Duterte for saying the chief executive was under perpetual isolation. The palace spokesman said, it was the wrong choice of words when asked about the president's health condition last week. And an explosion on the Arab gas pipeline causes a total blackout in Syria. The country's oil minister says the blast could be a terrorist attack. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.